Hey folks, welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie. Here, pretty early on in Grunty's Lair, because we have this little passage that uh, I neglected to go in just because it wasn't relevant at the time. Down here is actually the painting for the final level. As you can tell by the uh, simply obscene amount of uh, jiggies we need. But for that we have extra life there. I think there's a mumbo token around here somewhere. And then we got Brantilda. Of Edwards. That's not right. See that I can get behind. Anyway, I think Mumbo took wait a second. Isn't there like usually a... Well, this is a conundrum. Yeah, this is kind of a a puzzle that the game gives you. In, in kind of a stupid pun kind of way, but... Yeah, you, you can't actually do anything with this picture until we activate the switch. So basically we need to go find the switch to activate the switch so that we can activate the level. Where is it, you may ask? Well, I'll tell you, it's a place we haven't been to. So I'm gonna go back and do some crazy, crazy editing. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, we're back here in this room. Remember, we filled it up with water. Uh, we have the Witch Switch Jiggy from Rusty Bucket Bay. Very nice. And we also have a note door that I accidentally looked at earlier. Yeah, this is not a problem. We can do this easy. And in we go. Now this hallway... You can try to maneuver and get around these things. Screw it. I... I'm just gonna blow the feathers. There we go. Not too bad. So we got this bowl over here. Haven't seen one of those in a while. I think we got Brentilda over this way somewhere. Don't we? Yes, we do. Here you are. Hiding. She doesn't want to talk to me when I challenge her. Okay, that's pretty badass, though. Well, that's just fantastic. Anyway, I believe that's the last uh, Brentilda that we'll find. So we now know everything we never wanted to know about Grunty. Okay, so we got this note door. We can open it. Not all we need to do right now. Instead, we've got that, which we're ignoring. Ignoring that as well. But over here, ta-da, switch. So now I can head back there. Now I actually don't remember what this passage here leads to, so I'm going to check that out. Oh, Nathan welcome. Fantastic. You just realized this, Grunty. Alright, so we can do that, but there is a bit of a little hidden kind of passage. This little back roads loop down here with a warp pot. And what's back there? Which is very much convenient. So, finally you get to see a warp pot in real action. That's how it looks. I know, impressive. But yeah, it sends you pretty much right where you need to go. So, that's, like, actually good game design or something. Holy shit. Alright, and go on down.
And doesn't this look familiar? And as you can see, our Jiggy Snout count still ain't too bad. It opens up. Click clack wood. So let's get going. And then we get to just, you know, swim and walk all the way back. Warp pots do make it a little less tedious, but I mean you guys still have to watch the exact same thing over and over. Alrighty, let's head on out. Or in, rather, because we're about to go into the level. Oh my god, Bull, hi. Yep, up this hill is the final level. Click Hockwood. Get the gimmick. I'll admit it's uh it's a gimmick that's very close to my heart. So yeah, this uh this level has four very large sections, making it probably the largest level. And I guess people liked it because they basically reused the gigantic level idea for the sequel in every level. Anyway, this is Quick Clock Wood. Isn't it fun, lighthearted, energized? Now, Rescue Back at Bay was like the penultimate, or not pen, uh, was the hardest in terms of uh, like difficulty and platforming and whatnot. Quick Clock Wood is more adventure game oriented. So, like, you have a lot of very long chiggies to get. Uh, you got a lot of birds. You have a lot of birds. Uh, you have a lot of exploring. You are very likely to have to look around in very small nooks and crannies to find things that you missed. Anyway, I recommend taking care of the birds as soon as you get there, because A, you like it when they, uh, they leave health around, and B, you really don't want them messing with you. Because you may take a rather nasty fall, and that would be bad, and you'd want to replenish your health. Notes are also very spread out. Also, if things... If we hadn't already done stupid things like this, this would be pretty unintuitive. Yep. That totally makes sense. But hey, we already like paid tolls with them, and God knows what else. And as you can see, these fly traps. Like, I don't need to go in one right now, but I will anyway. You gotta use invincibility, basically cost a feather per one. So you gotta weigh whether or not you actually want what's in there. I already have all the Momo tokens I'll ever need. Speaking of Momo tokens, oh my God. Being Mumbo tokens, there's Mumbo. Um, but I just wanted to demonstrate it. Grab that. And as you can see, we got some brambles. Rare loves our brambles. Can't go over there that way unless we want to take a lot of damage. I don't want to take a lot of damage. Okay, that didn't work. Why is it going to get hurt? 
So, shall we go to Mumbo right now? No, I'm, I'm gonna collect all the stuff on the perimeter just to show what's going on. That is not worth it at all. You have to lose a feather to get a feather. Um, anyway, this level, basically there's a certain amount per section. And I've been, I'm gonna keep a tally, or like, keep record of... Oh yeah, hard platforming right there, actually. Of how much I need of each thing before I exit each section of the level. And that is actually all the notes for this section. Yeah, this is, this is difficult platforming. I'm not even sure if I need to do it right now. I'm gonna look. Hmm. I'll try for it a little more. Okay, so yeah, screw it. I'm not going for it. I'm pretty sure I'll have to come back later, but, yeah. Anyway, I, I took the uh, the land route last time, so why don't we show this guy's problem. Uh, Naughty is an enemy from the Donkey Kong Country games. Rare loves their throwbacks. And we got this neat little underwater remix. Alright, let's go see Mumbo. Basically, this level centers around uh, climbing the tree in one way or another, and also addressing various problems that the inhabitants have around the tree. Now, the quickest way to climb the tree is with Mumbo. As yeah, you can see, I only need 25, I got 33. Grab. There are barely any eggs up here. Mama, have you been eating them all? What else? Let's transform. And this is the last transformation of the game. The bee can fly, and not much else. So basically you got unlimited flight, and uh, you're also smaller, but all the transformations are smaller. And I think if I remember correctly, uh, the fly traps don't bug you if you're a bee, which makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, see? Hey, let's grab this Mumbo token we don't need. And uh, also, let's, let's check out what that uh, annoying platforming would have gotten me. So yeah, the B uh, landing as the B kind of sucks. Ow, no, 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 stop it, no. This should never have happened. Oh yeah, that's part of the reason why the birds are such assholes. They can knock you down off the tree. And if the bee took fall damage, that would actually be a problem. Okay, so... Yeah, looks like... This would get me nothing in this season. Oh, I, I spoiled the gimmick. The, it's seasons. Seasons is the gimmick. This is spring, there's also summer, fall, and winter. And as anyone who knows... A decent amount about me knows. I love the Seasons gimmick because my favorite game of all time uses it. Let's also grab this Mumbo token. Now you may be wondering, why are there so many extra Mumbo tokens when there's like zero extra anything else? Well, I'll tell you. They were originally planning for something more that used every single Mumbo token. But ultimately it was cut for time constraints or something. Woo! 
So yeah, basically you can climb as the bee, but there are various things we can only do as the barren bird. I think you saw a switch a little ways back. Oh look, an Eakin Buckham. And the bee is the only one who can fit in here. Hello there. Jinjo. Yep, that's the only reason to come in here right now. Because we can't get that jiggy without the barren bird, and the barren bird can't come in here during spring. So let's climb some more. Now, the R button maneuvering trick does work as the B, but. To be honest, it still doesn't control very well because you can't land on Q. So you'll have to circle around and it's a butt. That's our two Jinjos. And there is something of uh, immediate value that the B can get. By the way, I think I hit the invisible wall. Nope, no I didn't. I also get this Jiggy. Hoorah. Nice. And here's an opportunity to uh, not be able to see the level at all, actually. There we go. We need a bit of Aaron Bird to go there. Yeah, I just want to take a tour around. And unfortunately, that's all that the bee is used for at this point. We need him once more at the end of uh, an entire level. But, yeah kind of disappointing for the final transformation. Oh, well, let's just head back to Mumbo. And yes, that buzzing noise is extremely annoying. Transform! Okay, now that we've climbed the trees, the bee, we need to climb up the hard way with the barren bird to actually get things. Ooh, is that a mumbo token? I think it is. Yay! So this is where, like, the platforming and stuff comes in for this level. What little there is of it. And it's decently okay platforming, except you have to do it more than four times throughout the course of the level. It's a little repetitive. I've already been here, don't need to do anything with that. And, oh, you remember this? You remember this? I mentioned that Rare really likes this. Yep, used it in Clanker's Cavern, they use it uh, in Treasure Trove Cove. A certain place. It's not particularly hard, but it can be a butt. Especially if you fall and... Yeah, that, that would hurt a lot. Anyway, we got an incomplete house there. It, it will become more complete as the seasons go on, which I think is neat. There are a lot of things like that. And take no chances with this stuff. Alright. Over here we got the summer switch. This opens up the door to summer. And we will head there soon. But we have fed a squirrel. Ugh. At least he's better than Conquer.
But yeah, Nab Nut will be important later. And I didn't forget anything out there, did I? No, I don't believe so. You can welcome. What do we got? Yeah, this. This is like the longest jiggy in the level. There we go. You remember what we did to eggs back in Bubble Loop Swamp? Other than shoot them out of our mouths and to rear ends? That's right. We smashed them. See, uh, we have to raise a baby eagle for a year. Ain't that... Actually, I think it's pretty neat. I'd be sarcastic about it, but I don't, I'm not gonna be it. It's pretty neat. Anyway, we got some stairs. They, they are stairs, believe it or not. They'll become more stair-like as the uh, seasons go on. Alright, and the last thing in this door that the bee couldn't get into. We got more whiffy things. And somewhere there's a jiggy. Anyway, this is a bug because the camera is fixed, so like it's hard to see where the thing is gonna be. No, it's not worth it. All right, and that's two jiggies. <laughs> that splendid progress. Two jiggies, twenty nos, two jinjos. Yeah, this is a slow level, but I'm okay with that. Anyway, we need to get down to the ground without hurting ourselves. Let's see if we can do that. Nope, nope, we we didn't. Yeah, that was a little risky. There is a way to do large drops uh, pretty easily, and that is just use gold feathers. But no, that's 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 for dumb people. And since we won't really be coming back to spring until the very end, and not only just briefly be getting Mumbo, let's just grab the honeycomb from the birds. Told you they'd come in handy. Oh, damn. Yeah, a bit of a dick move there. Whatever, it'll be fine. I think there's uh, a, a beehive uh, near the entrance. And I'm wondering, how is there a honeycomb on top of there? I haven't been there to kill the enemies. Interesting. Alright, let's go. Yep, there's a come. Here's an enemy. Nice. And that takes care of spring, let's head out. And our next destination, very nicely arranged clockwise, is summer. Let's head on in.